Hey guys, it's Ikenna from CNC Labs. And May 14th, noon Eastern Standard Time, we'll be launching our pre order page for the CNC Labs Laser Beam module, which will retail for 400 Canadian dollars and will include a free lens and a free pair of safety glasses. But before that, I wanted to take you guys through a project demo. So we'll start this project off in Inkscape, and first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the document properties. So we're gonna set the size of our page to the size of the material that we'll be using. So next we'll be importing our image into Inkscape. And we're going to resize it to fit in our page. We're going to add a little bit of text. And then we're going to want to center that. So next we want to go over to filter and then we want to change the color to grayscale. So the way the laser works is that it only recognizes shades of black. So you want a well contrasted image if you want your engraving to show up really well. So we're going to save our file as a vector file. And to actually generate the G-code, we're going to be using a software called Lightburn. The reason why I like Lightburn so much is because the features are very simple. It's very easy to use. So we're going to set our machine language to Gerbil. We're going to import that vector file. And we're going to find the origin point. So I usually like to set my starting point at the bottom left corner. Then we're going to dial in our power and speed settings. For engraving, I like 25.4 millimeters per second and power ranging anywhere between 50% power and 100% power. Totally depends on the type of finish that you're looking for. So for our image settings, I like to set the power to around the same range and speed to the same range. But for our image processing, we like to select Jarvis. Then we want to make sure our S value is set to 255. Then we can go ahead and generate our G code. So you always want to remember to save your G code file as a .nc file. So for this project, we're going to be using a G7 lens. So we're going to grab the G7 focal length finders. So for this lens, it's about 85 millimeters. Then we're gonna grab our safety glasses. You never wanna forget these. And we're gonna install our lens. So you're gonna to wanna to thread on your lens. The more you use your laser, the more you'll get a feeling for how many threads you need to turn your lens in order to get it relatively close to where it's focused. We then wanna move our laser to the general starting point so that we can focus it. So we wanted about 85 millimeters from our material. So we'll move that. So first I'm gonna show you how to use G-Sender as your machine interface when running a laser project. We're just gonna connect our machine. We're gonna load our G-code file. G-Sender is much easier for using a laser than other machine interfaces because there's no need to enter any type of code into the console. Once our G-Code file is loaded, we'll just head over to the settings 
we will enable laser mode. Then we can go ahead and click the tab. We'll make sure that laser mode is enabled. We're going to set our power to 2%. We're going to set the duration that we want. And then we're going to run the laser at 2%. And it is going to stay on for that amount of time that we set. So we're then we're going to want to just turn our lens until we have the beam at its smallest point. And a good tip is that if you go past your focus, it will get larger and then you can dial it back down. And once your lens is focused, you can turn off the laser manually. After that, all you have to do is reset your zero and start your job. So now I'm going to show you how to use UGS when you're running your G code. We're going to want to open up our G code file in UGS. We're then going to want to make sure our machine is connected. And we're just going to double check the EEPROM settings. So for the laser, you want to change these three EEPROM settings. You want to make sure dollar sign 30 equals 255, dollar sign 31 equals zero, and dollar sign 32 equals one. That is essentially turning on laser mode. We're then going to want to use this little bit of code into the console in order to turn on our laser for focusing. So the value after the letter S, divide that by 255 and you'll get the percentage. So we're gonna be setting our laser to about 2%. So we're then gonna to wanna to just turn our lens until we have the beam at its smallest point. So we're gonna use M05 in order to manually turn off our laser. We're gonna reset our zero and then we're going to start our job. So I am extremely excited to be able to launch this laser and offer it to the long mill community. I'm super excited to see what the community will be able to make with the laser. You definitely want to make sure that your workshop is well ventilated and that your safety glasses are on. So we will be hosting a live stream during our pre-order launch, May 14th, 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time. So feel free to jump in the YouTube live stream if you have any questions or if you're just generally interested and want to hang out. That looks awesome, and I'll catch you guys later.